Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, um, the spray foam insulator guy just left. So I have to remove everything hanging on this ceiling. So I gotta get my cart down. I gotta I move those tires up there, this box, this humongous freaking ladder, which I've got a shitload of stuff stacked on top of it. Gotta get my lawnmower, my wife's scooter out of here. And uh, anything I don't want buried in it. So I'm gonna have to untangle, take this light out that I had for my oil tank when I had it here. Um, untangle that out. And uh, cause they're gonna spray foam it. Right now, when I touch this ceiling, it's about a hundred degrees. It's, you can't hold your hand on it. And it's not even that sunny out for Christ's sakes. So I'm gonna pull my wife's car out. I'm going to move all this crap, the stuff I can drive, around the corner. I'm going to park it back there by my welder. They're going to spray foam all of this ceiling and over there, which I might have to rip down some of this ceiling. I don't know what I can really do. You know, I mean, I got everything screwed to everything up here in the ceiling. But, yeah, this might be a pain in the ass. Well, he can walk on the beams up there, so let him do that. So I gotta get my wife's car out, so I can use that as my pathway and to move everything in and out of here. And his place is uh, Hybrid Spray Foam, home of the foam gnome. It's pretty funny. He's got a beard just like mine, and he's short. He looks like Papa Smurf. I mean, almost exactly like Papa Smurf. And I asked him, I said, when your guy is spray foaming, I said, you care if I video it? He says, nah, go ahead. So that's cool. So it's a dollar ten a square foot. So I said, what if I pay cash? So, so we're just going to spray 600 square feet of my ceiling. Now, this is not, for some of you that don't know, this is not this type of crap spray foam. The stuff you fill in for cracks. Um, this is a whole different story. I mean, it's guaranteed for life, not to shrink um, and everything. So, yeah, it doesn't shrink up. It stays what it is. It hardens right up. And you can see a gap. These freaking LED lights always blur my view. Let's see, is my car fully charged? Oh my God, it is. Full charge. Awesome. That's awesome. Remember our last video, I was having problems with that? So, you see up there, there's a light gap. Let me see if I can zoom this puppy in a little bit. I stopped hitting the wrong buttons. Yeah, the light gap's right there. So he'll be spray foaming that all in up there. So there won't be any gaps. But one thing I got to do is I've got one bad 2x4 I've got to fix before they spray foam it. But he said this actually will make it more structurally strong. I think I got a bad 2x4 right there, which is no big deal. I mean, that's no big deal because I've got a lot of short pieces right there to replace it. So, well... Oh shit, how the hell is he going to spray foam this? It's all sealed in. Uh, i got to find a way to make him get into there now. Damn it. Well, he's going to have to play monkey boy, that's all. So now i got some work cut out for me. So i got some stuff to do now. And... So... I'll just get some of my stuff out. I'm always throwing this bag in and out of my car. And you know what this bag is, right? I think I told you before. That's my complete spare clothes bag. Pants, socks, underwear, sneakers. Everything's in that bag. Um, just in case if you're out somewheres, 
doing something and I don't know, you fall in the crick or whatever, you know, you get soaked or muddy or dirty. I've got a complete change of clothes. I always keep in my car. But I gotta I had one guy that wanted the steering wheel that was supposed to go on this for ten dollars. Oh, can you meet me here? Can you meet me there? Can you meet me here? It's like no. You want it, you come and get it. I'm not driving all over the freaking countryside meeting you and then you don't show up and then I'm, you know, so. All right. Well, I can't believe it because it turned green. It's amazing. Every time I came out, this was flashing. So, well, I'm going to back my wife's car out because there's no point backing my car out and trying to run everything over the car lift. I gotta slide this big long and last big long ladder down through here. I may have to pull my welding cart ahead and move it over a little bit so I get the ladder in here. That's what I'll do right now because I can't get any spray foam on that. That's that's basically sold. So that is sold on uh, eBay. I think the auction ends today. And let's see if I can do this without crushing myself. This is cool. Isn't that cool? I like how smooth the throttle works. I gotta try to keep it close to this without. Well, I'm gonna hit it. Woohoo! That's close. Chainsaw is gonna fall off. And it's good enough. Good enough. Shut all the switches off. Boop. There we go. All right. Now I've got... Oh, yeah. Now I've got room. Slide that big boy all the way down in there. All right. I got a lot of cleaning and moving. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So hang in there. Well, we got the ceiling all cleared off for spray foam. Got everything out of there. <clears throat> Took down the brackets and stuff. So that'll help with that light crack up there. Got all my wires pretty much down out of the way. This wire is going to stay here, so this will get spray foamed right in. I put tape to hold it up in there. <clears throat> then I'll just come down over here. But <clears throat> I might as well take the light down, or the fan. I might as well take the fan down for now. So they have full access to everything now here. Big bee's nest right there in the corner. I forgot to knock that down. Let's see. Ooh, this is a long board. Okay, maybe I can knock it down. Get off of there, you prick. Yeah, there we go. Bee's nest is down. I don't want that spray foamed in there. So this should be good enough. I mean, he's only gonna spray it down to about this thick. So, boy, the roof cooled right off. We had a rain. This roof was steaming hot. Now it's ice cold. My lights here, my lights, I had to back them up into the corner. So that leaves him four inches to spray there. But, <clears throat> got everything over here now. I don't know why I hang on to this freaking ladder. The thing's a mile long. But, well, it's 12 foot. 12 foot step ladder. Maybe I can make a deal with the guys and you know, give me a better deal and I'll give them this freaking ladder. Because that's heavier than hell. I had a hell of a struggle with that. So now I just gotta now I'm over to this side of the garage checking out everything. I see a wire jumping over the beam there. I should probably remove that out of the way. But the rest of it looks pretty decent because he's stopping right here. Well, actually, yeah, I got shit in the way up there. I gotta move. Damn it. So, this is exciting. He's not spray foaming any of the front. He's just stopping, like, right here on the edge. Yeah, I just don't want any electrical connections buried under the foam. That's why I had to move all this stuff over here. I had to pull it down, because... In case I ran into trouble, I mean, this wire here is, is brand new. 
that's a new wire so I ain't gonna worry about that but I'll take this down unplug it take it down there's only a couple screws holding that on get it out of his way the more shit I can get out of this guy's way the faster and easier it's gonna go for him so oh man I'm sweating sweating to the oldies so eventually I gotta get up there I look around I gotta replace that board like I said before I don't take two seconds to do that that's no big deal because I just happen to have one bunch of them right here so I use one of these use one of the old Amish boards or I could use this one oh that's a two by six I ain't using that one nice heavy wood they planed it down for me so we'll put that up there so I don't forget well this would be interesting I'll have a video of it tomorrow so I got a little more cleaning up to do here and I'll be good to go so that this fan wire I ran that in conduit so that's good yeah I'm just just double checking stuff that's all this side's got all the insulation in it I wanted to rip this freaking part of the roof down but we'll see what happens tomorrow. I gotta pull my wife's car out. And if you don't like it, I'll just grab my rake and I'll just pull that shit out of there and throw it out. Because now it's gonna be insulated, but I got to remove this roof, I mean, the cat pen's hooked to it, so I'd have to screw something from here back to the truss to cut this piece out. I don't know, we'll see what happens, I mean. All this is just haphazardly thrown up there. Maybe I'll take the ceiling out. We'll see what happens. You know. My garage door opener, that's lagged into a beam, so that's good. I had to put a brace from this bottom truss to the to here. Because when the garage door opened, this this flexed. I think I can pretty much pull all this shit down. Maybe I'll pull my waste car back out. I'll cut this here and then I'll go back upstairs and reinforce it. The guys will be happy, you know. Alright, that's enough chitter chatter. I gotta go take the ceiling fan down now. And if I do anything over here, I'll I'll come back once more. Or not. We'll see what happens. Well, there it is. I ripped down all the insulation up there. So there's the other half of the garage cleaned out. I had to reinforce the kitty litter box with a board there and one over here because it was just sagging. Luckily I was smart enough to put my garage door opener right into one of the beams. So I was going to cut this backboard off behind here, but then I realized I can't because the catwalk ends like right in here and they'd be able to just stroll right on out. So I'll leave it. But, yeah, I've got all this cleaned out now. It's kind of nice. And I think my ceiling's going to be a green color. Got all my wires basically pulled out of the way. And I just cleaned the garage floor. I got my leaf blower out. I started way in the back. I blew everything up into this corner. And uh, basically filled my garbage can with bee nests old insulation, um, mouse poop, whatever the hell else was in there, I don't know. So that'll go out to the garbage Friday. So I'm just putting everything back together in the garage now. I've had the doggy door locked because I didn't want Junior coming out. I can open it now. But make sure it's all the way up. Nope, there it is. Now it's all the way up. You can feel a little lip right there. I don't want to hit his back. Well, the door's open too. Woof! This is fun. I said the guy pitcher said the roof ceiling's all cleared off. So I noticed a wet spot. I had a wet spot somewhere right in here. It dried up already, but I don't know where the hell it came from. Must be a I don't know. All right, you can see a dent right there where the tree branch came down and hit it. Lucky they didn't they didn't poke a hole. 
unlike the other side right back there where the silver tape is, there's an actual hole right there. Where a uh, four foot or a four foot, a four inch limb came down. And I uh, hit it, so. Yeah, now my garage looks like it used to before all this mess, but. And the light right here laying on my parts cleaner, that's gonna go back here. And I could probably hang that back up now. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be in the way of the sprayers, but... Wow, what a mess. My concrete this year has just took a big shit on itself. It's cracked. Here's that crack I was telling you about. Cracked all the way across the freaking floor. And if that ain't bad enough, under these carpets, it's totally cracked to shit. Look at that. Nice, ain't it? Is that nice? Yeah. So that's why the carpets are there, so I don't trip on the crack. Ugh. That's been enough for today. How do I look? Sweating my balls off? It's funny, the guy that came, uh, came here, same as me. Shaggy old beard. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. He's a cool guy, though. So, oh my god, I just sweat pouring off my balding head. So, that'll make him happy. I got dust on everything. But once I get everything put back into place, I just blow it all off again. Guess what I like about the leaf blower? This thing, I love this leaf blower. This thing's got balls. Bigger than mine. But, and this little guy here, this little peewee, I use him for blowing the catwalks off. So I just put on through here like this, you know, and blow the litter off the catwalks. I gotta get new batteries. This battery's totally zonkered. That's what I'll do when I go inside and order new batteries for that, because I like that one. And I also have a spare tube that goes straight for that, but I think it is time to pull the cars back in. Put this on my my marker spot for my wife so so she don't end up driving halfway through the garage you know that's what this red line was for i put a red line right here for my wife and i said when you back up your car back in the garage keep that red line in your mirror all the way back yeah okay car's freaking way over here oh my god you know they teach you when they teach you driver's ed they should, you know, only leave the two side mirrors and, and rip the one off the front windshield. You know, that's the only look at people behind you. You're supposed to use your mirrors, but... Well, that's coming from a truck driver's point of view. But, because we only had side mirrors. We didn't have a reverse camera or, or rear mirrors on the trucks. So, I am done. I wasn't planning on ripping this out. You know, because I knew what I had to deal with up here. I knew I had to deal with this and reinforce this. I knew I had to hang on to this when I ripped the wood off from underneath it. And the pile of shit that I got outside right now, I'll show you. Man, this one always does that. What is it? You, you step on this just right. Oh, there it is. It's a little crooked. Here's a view. It's raining right now. I'll do it quick. There's all this shit I took out of my garage. So, detonize. See, I put this little lock on here. And that keeps my garage secure because really I only have this sliding into a piece of wood. That just holds the door, but this is my extra security there. But, yeah, I got everything all cleaned off. I'm going to ask if he can just spray foam this for... I'll give him a hug. So they give you a hug if you spray foam that. I better be careful. He might want more. But yeah, I recessed my lights. Did I already talk about that? Recessed them way up there like that. So they'll be out of the way. Okay, everybody. Time to start pulling the cars back in. I'm done. I'm itchy as shit because this is the antique insulation from way back in the 70s. That's what that shit is. The nasty ass insulation. 
turn my big boy off here. Yeah, that insulation is nasty. Um, yeah, I was telling the guy that I said, he said, oh, I got a Sawzall like this. I said, yeah, do you realize yours is chain drive? He says, no. I'm like, yeah. I said, it's chain drive. I said, I want to replace the chain in the freaking, the center of the pulley is like aluminum. The outer is plastic, molded into it. So the old chain, you know, elongated, you know, the, the slots and all my new chain don't fit. But anyhow, I got a lot of shit coming in the mail today. I know that whenever they get here. Um, I'm going to put up a 20-foot flagpole. And... I got one big sign, three foot by five foot American flag. I got a three foot by five foot flag that says Joe Biden sucks. And I'm going to turn the American flag upside down. If you don't know what that means when the American flag is upside down, go look it up. So, because our country's in trouble. Half mast, you know, half mast. You know, somebody died. But, yeah, this one guy had a sign that says, F you, F you, Biden, right? Neighbors complained. Their flag was upside down. Cop comes over said, I can't do anything about it. It's freedom of speech. He said, I, you know. My wife's yelling at me. She goes, you're not doing that in our yard. Oh, really? Okay. So I got all the flagpole components coming today. I just need a pipe. Because I wasn't going to buy the flagpole kit because it's aluminum. And everybody sent, had pictures on there that it breaks. So I'm like, I'll just get a two-inch piece of steel pipe you know i'll make a nice little tip over part for it and everything so yep and then i'll put my american flag upside down and joe biden blow it then watch how pissed off the neighbors get <laughs> oh well okay lights off cars coming in okay everybody have a great day um tomorrow he's gonna be here at noon I got to go get my second COVID shot that I really didn't want to do at 1045, and then I'll be back, and then uh, and then he'll be here at noon starting to spray foam. So, all right, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.